Today I'd like to persuade you into some... Popeyes. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and I can be very persuasive. Today I'd like to persuade you into something new from Popeyes, their new Magnolia Blossom Chicken. That's right. So the gimmick with this, it's Popeyes fried chicken, but not chicken tenders. No sir, it's actually fried in the shape of a Magnolia Blossom. Yeah, that's true. Easy for ripping and tearing and dipping it into sauce. And speaking of sauce, they're debuting the spicy orange sauce, so that's something new. But if I don't like that spicy orange sauce, I'm rocking some buttermilk ranch uh, to finish up. So I'm going to rate it, and then we'll see if it's something you may enjoy. Or not. Let's check it out. All right, you got up close and personal with that. Let me take this octopus calamari looking piece of chicken and raise it up. Look at this, a cluster of fried chicken goodness. Right there, look at this. So yeah, I guess if you really use your imagination, that looks like a magnolia blossom. But you can see it has the pieces off on the edges there, easy for ripping off and trying. So I'm not gonna review the biscuit or the french fries because been there, done that. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into the Magnolia Blossom chicken. First, without the sauce. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be their standard. Then we're going to get into the sauce, so let's check this out. All right, so for the first tear, we're going to tear right off this section here. Look at it, right here. All right, so what we got here kind of looking like the state of Florida in a way, but it is a nice a piece of their fried chicken. We're going to rip it in half. Check that out. All right, so let's give this a shot before the orange dipping sauce. Ooh, little hat adjustment there. Definitely tasted the spices all up on the back end there, but that is just a perfectly fried piece of chicken right there. And it has a great crunch right at the beginning and you get that breading and then you just get that nice tender chicken and then the spice, and then the spice hits you, so hits you all up the face. That's the feeling I get when I eat these spicy chicken from Popeyes. Like it's just smashed all over your face and you're just left like, whoa, standing 10 count. All right, so let's try it with the spicy orange dipping sauce. Well, all right, a little surprising right off the bat, kind of like an early Christmas gift from Popeyes to me. Adjustment number two. It has the consistency of like a sweet and sour sauce from like a Chinese restaurant where it's not a thick and creamy sauce. Now I'm more partial to the thick and creamy sauce. What do you want from me? But that's how I roll. But we're gonna try it, the spicy orange sauce. So let's go in for a little dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. All right, that has a little, little drippage, texture of like honey meets water. All right. Oh, it's orange, yeah. It definitely has that orange chicken smell that you get at like Panda Express or any of your local uh, Chinese food places. But, all right, wish me luck on this. Okay, right off Jump Street, this is pretty good. The thing that's kind of throwing me is spicy chicken, really spicy chicken, spicy orange. A lot of spicy going on, throwing spice around. Double the spice. It's and posh spice getting together in like a hot tub. All right, one more dip. Hoo hoo, spice game on point. If I had to rate this on a scale of one to 10 on spice, today for some reason, this is definitely at about a seven for me. And I'm a lightweight in the spice game, but I'm getting better. So let's do a final breakdown on this. The chicken is on point, definitely a little spicy today, and I like that. And we're putting spice on spice with the sauce. The sauce was good, had an orange flavor, kind of orange chicken-esque flavor, and added a little more spice to it. 
not a creamy sauce, but a more sweet and sour textured sauce, but it did complement it pretty well. Now the whole Mongolian idea, no, not Mongolian, the whole Magnolia Blossom idea, you know, is a nice little gimmick. You can kind of rip the pieces off, but I think I like the standard chicken tenders more, just one after another, boom, boom, boom. It's got to do some work, got to put some work into it, rip it off, do it all this. Then you're going to have the center cluster. You know, I don't know. I'm kind of partial to the regular chicken tenders, but the spice game was on point and that sauce was definitely better than I expected and it had a little bit of sweetness to it with still the spice game. So let's rate this, shall we? So on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm going to give the new Magnolia Blossom Chicken from Popeyes a rating of... Eighty four. Eighty four out of one hundred. That's a little bit less than eight and a half out of ten if you're keeping score at home. Score sheet. Check. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. So please tell me in the comments below if you have tried this new product from Popeyes, if you have ripped and tore apart at the Magnolia Blossom esque cluster of fried chicken goodness and we'd have something in common. All right, hope you all had a great holiday weekend, and we'll see you soon with another review.